When I first beheld this apparition, for I could scarcely regard it as less, my wonder and my terror were extreme. But at length reflection came to my aid. The cat, I remembered, had been hung in the garden adjacent to the house. Upon the alarm of fire, this garden had been immediately filled by the crowd, by some one of whom the animal must have been cut down from the tree and thrown through an open window into my chamber. This had probably been done with a view of arousing me from sleep. The falling of other walls had compressed the victim of my cruelty into the substance of freshly spread plaster, the lime of which, with the flames and the ammonia from the carcass, had then accomplished the portraiture I saw. Although I thus readily accounted to my reason, if not altogether to my conscience, for the startling fact just detailed, I did not the less fail to make a deep impression upon my fancy. For months I could not rid myself of the phantasm of the cat, and during this period there came back into my spirit a half-sentiment that seemed, but was not, remorse. I went so far as to regret the loss of the animal and to look about me among the vile haunts which I now habitually frequented for another pet of the same species and of somewhat similar appearance with which to supply its place. One night, as I sat half stupefied in a den of more than infamy, my attention was suddenly drawn to some black object, reposing upon the head of one of the immense hogsheads of gin or of rum, which constitute the chief furniture of the apartment. I had been looking steadily at the top of this hogshead for some minutes, 
And what now caused me surprised was the fact that I had no sooner perceived the object thereupon <clears throat> uh, and approached it and touched it with my hand than I noticed it was a black cat, a very large one, fully as large as Pluto, and closely resembling him in every respect but one. Pluto had not a white hair upon any portion of his body, but this cat had a large, although indefinite, splotch of white, covering nearly the whole region of the breast. Upon my touching him, he immediately arose, purred loudly, rubbed against my hand, and appeared delighted with my notice. This, then, was the very creature of which I was in search. I had once offered to purchase it, purchase it of the landlord, but this person made no claim to it, knew nothing of it, had never seen it before. I continued my caresses, and when I prepared to go home, the animal evinced a disposition to accompany me. I permitted it to do so, occasionally stooping and patting it as I proceeded. When it reached the house, it domesticated itself at once and became immediately a great favorite with my wife. Mm -hmm.